we're talking gratitude with my friend uh, Mitch Nettesheim, who is currently the director of uh, campus recreation at the University of South Carolina. Uh, Mitch can correct me on this, but I think I've known you since 1986. Yeah, I, I was thinking 86, 87. Yeah. Yeah. I had to be 87. Yeah, it was a while ago. And I, and I, you know, you're probably not expecting this, but I would, I would suggest that you are definitely one of the integral people in my life from way back then that uh, it got me going in the health and fitness field. You were, you were directing the, um, yeah. the fancy fitness center at UW Whitewater, the Harvard of the Midwest. Um, and introduced me to some concepts in training that were very intriguing. That was prior to me actually playing football at Whitewater. And uh, it, you taught me a lot. Um, and then I worked for you <laughs> in grounds maintenance. And we don't need to go into how that ended. But Mitch Nettesheim is um, a dear friend. He's lived outside the state of Wisconsin for a, a long time. Uh, but he's one of those guys that we have stayed in touch and I am, I'm in, incredibly grateful for Mitch. So today what we really, what the people want to know is what does gratitude mean to Mitch Nettesheim? Well, they, thanks for um, that little snapshot back to the past, Pete. And, and thanks for the opportunity. Um, I, I have for a number of years that when people ask me how I'm doing, I, I respond by saying I'm better than I deserve. And I borrowed that from Dave Ramsey. And that's probably the first time I heard it, but it, it has played an integral part in my daily life because I think the foundation uh, to gratitude is humility. And so when I say I'm better than I deserve, that orients me first to a humble place that says, to be honest with you, I, I don't deserve what I have all the gifts and abilities I've, I've shared with folks that I didn't get to choose who my parents were. I didn't get to choose what school I went to. I didn't get to choose those teachers. Um, I didn't get to choose the coaches I had. And all of those life experiences are, are who shaped, are what shaped me along with the gifts and abilities that when the sperm hit the egg, I am who I am, right? And, and, and so I, I had this foundation that I had nothing to do with. And, and so it's just, a, it's a good place to start. But in addition to that, yeah, for me, it's also about uh, the connection on a daily basis with all the things. Last night I was out mountain biking and um, here in South Carolina, at least it, it was a 78 degree, the end of October. And I'm having the time of my life on these trails and I see deer and, and there's these incredibly vibrant mushrooms everywhere. And uh, having this experience with a body that's able to respond to the physical trials of exercise and having that intimate moment and being able to say, God, thank you. Thank you for this creation. Thank you for the body that responds. Thank you for somebody inventing bikes. And, and, and really on a daily basis, whenever, because it's so habitual, people say, how you doing? And I say, I'm better than I deserve. It's that, that pause to be able to say, number one, I ain't all that. And number two, look at all the things that I have. And I have relationships uh, like this that uh, because I've lived in four states, I've been able to develop all across the country. And, and it's, I, I am very fortunate and therefore very grateful. That's awesome. That's pretty succinct. So we've got gratitude. A, a common thread is it's a choice. Um, mm -hmm. You alluded to that. Uh, a common thread has been that it comes from a place of humility, understanding that all that we have, we've actually received. Uh, and then my bias is you are set up for a more grateful life. All of us are. If you take care of the body that you've got and there's just so you can have a great life, but if it's a great life plus great physical fitness, 
to hike, to mountain bike, to do whatever you want to do. It just, it, it's, it's a great life plus, and you're grateful for that. Amen. Yeah. So I, I asked the question of the young staff that work for me all the time, how can you add value to the organization, right? That, that intentional discipline every day of asking yourself, how, how can I be contributing? And, and to your point, uh, the discipline of taking care of your body at, at 58, I can go out there and have a scream riot good time on a mountain bike. And there are a lot of folks I know that are my age that can't. And, and so I, I, I'm able to take that level of appreciation and gratitude to a different level because I'm able to experience more, whether it's behind uh, the paddle of my kayak, whether it's on my mountain bike, whether it's hiking or biking with a family member, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but then I think the other thing that you, you uh, brought my mind to, and it, it's almost embarrassing that I didn't say it already, but it's, it's real, is that I, I do, I am a gift, right? I, I, all of my life is a gift. I, I've got not only the physical and mental abilities, but I also grew up in a place in a time where I was able to be exposed to uh, the power of the word and, and be able to have a relationship uh, with God and be able to add another uh, layer of gratitude. And that is that I, I've got eternal life. So. And another choice. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you for sharing all that, Mitch. Yeah. Pete, thank you. And thanks for all the work you're doing in Milwaukee. Yeah, my pleasure.